Hello, my name is Lynn with Kegel Concepts Outdoor Adventures. I've been here on the BNL line in Bulls Gap for about three miles walking it. I've decided to set up camp over here by Bent Creek. I've just crossed this bridge that goes over Bent Creek. Bent, Bent Creek is a beautiful little creek that weaves through several counties. But nevertheless, I have set my camp up over here. As you can see, the railway goes way down that way. Uh, it stretches out for 18 miles across three counties. And it used to deliver coal to uh, the homes in Tennessee and beyond. But anyway, doing a small documentary about it. It's been closed for several years now and uh, it doesn't look like it will reopen anytime soon but this is a beautiful little area no one's around uh, doing a little stealth camping and uh, anyway let me show you my setup uh, i did walk up this way just to see if anybody happened to walk through, if they could see my setup, and I couldn't even see it, and I know where it's at. No brother, he is. We're supposed to get down in the low 30s tonight, so I brought a couple of quilts, brought my sleeping bag, and I purchased this sleeping bag and hammock from Timu. Wanted to try it out. Uh, not too bad product. Uh, it's actually quite, quite good. I'm pleased with it for the price. I, and also bought a, uh, a backpack that's frameless, but nevertheless, it held all my stuff. It was uh, about 40 pounds. It's quite heavy, but you know, kind of like a woman, I over, uh, I overpack. Uh, I'm planning on only staying overnight, but I've packed for about three days. But you never, I guess, can come you don't want to come unprepared and so that's just me here's my hammock uh, made a pillow with the uh, sack that the hammock came in uh, put a small blanket inside of it and there's my quilt and there's a blanket inside of it and a, uh, a quilt up underneath it uh, I will say this, the uh, straps that came with it, uh, they I wasn't pleased with them, so I improvised and put some alligator straps on it. I, I like those quite well. They, uh, they seem to do the job. Uh, that's my walking stick that I, I made out of a crepe myrtle tree from my brother's home. Uh, works and does the job. Great walking stick. Anyway... There's my rod and reel set up. I've got a Cardinal uh, Ultralight. And um, so I plan on fishing the creek and maybe I can catch a few fish. Probably won't eat anything out of the creek, but it's just the thought of being able to do this. Uh, but there's my backpack. Uh, yeah, I believe it was only, I believe, $12 for this backpack. It's supposed to be a 90 liter. Uh, I'm not real sure, but it was plenty big enough for me. I, I, I got about the biggest one that I, they had. And anyway. 
just a beautiful place. The wind, the birds, the trees, just the smells of freedom. This is something I've wanted to do when I was a child, is camp out along the railway. Uh, and this I can actually do because trains are not on this. Of course, I, I would like one day to be able to hop a train and take it wherever. Uh, kind of be like old hobo shoes trains. But there's my solar panel. It keeps my phone charged. I've got a vape. Uh, I keep it charged with it. It works quite well. Got it from Timu. I believe it was only about five bucks for it. And uh, there's my hatchet um, that I've had for quite a few years. Uh, it's a SOG hatchet. And I've got a, uh, a machete that my, my wife and daughter bought me uh, for camping. So anyway, it does the job. So anyway, I want to bore you guys. I want to be able to sit down and relax and enjoy this good day that God has given us. And may his great name be praised. My name is Lynn with Kegel Concepts Outdoor Adventures. You all have a good evening. May God bless. Happy hunting. And always stay safe.